the first day in a season called Lent, and that probably doesn't mean a lot to you. But basically what it means is it's a time where we get ready for Easter, which is coming. It's about six weeks away. One of the things I talked about last Sunday, and I talked about on Wednesday night for those who were here, was that a lot of people give something up for Lent because Lent is a time when we remember the sacrifice that Jesus made on the cross so that we would know for sure how much God loves us. And so sometimes people give up things for Lent, like candy or chocolate or Cokes or, or, or things like that, in order to kind of participate in that sacrifice a little bit, if you will. But I also encourage people to not just give up something, but to do something positive. Okay, I'm going to keep working on this because by the time I'm finished, hopefully I'll um, have it done and you can see what it looks like. But anyway, one of the things I thought it would be good to do this year, do you know we're very lucky in our world, in the part of the world we live in. We don't ever go hungry. We, have, we usually have lots of food, and, and we're well-nourished and taken care of. But you know, there are boys and girls in other parts of the world that literally go to bed hungry at night. There are children who starve to death every day in other parts of the world because they don't have enough food. There's an organization called Heifer International. They've been around for a long time. As I said in the early service, much to my mother's chagrin, They've been around almost as long as she has. They were formed in 1944, which was 68 years ago. So they're a really cool organization. And what they do is they provide livestock animals, cows and pigs and sheep and goats and chickens to people in the parts of the world that are really poor and don't have enough to eat. And by doing that, they give them a means to take care of themselves and to feed their families. And if this actually works out, and I'm not sure it will, this becomes a bank. And it's a bank that has all kinds of livestock on it to remind us of what this organization does. So what I, the reason I'm bringing this up is I ordered one of these for every family in the church who wants one, along with a calendar that I think I left up there. And what I'm asking is, if you give up a candy bar or a Coke, or, or just if you have part of your allowance, put it in here for the next four weeks. And on Palm, Palm, Palm Sunday, we're going to take these up, and then we're going to send them to Heifer International. You know what a heifer is? Anybody? It's a cow. <laughs> so it's named after you. It tells you kind of what they're about. But we're going to send the money we collect to Heifer International so that they can buy cows and pigs and goats and chickens <laughs> to people in countries that are really poor. Uh, there's an old saying that says, give a man a fish and you feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish and you feed him for a lifetime. You know what that means? You got any idea what that means? If you just give somebody food, handouts, you just feed them for that one day. But if you teach them how to fish, then they can fish every day and catch food every day. And that's kind of what Heifer International does. You give them livestock that reproduces, and it provides, it, it's an ongoing means of providing food for their family. And one of the things Heifer International asks people <coughs> to do that they, give their life, that they give livestock to is they say when you have the first, when your livestock has its first baby, whether it's a goat or a cow or a sheep or a chicken, that you share it with somebody else who's poor. So it's a really good way to help people in the world who are starving. And so these are little banks. Over the next four weeks, fill them with money, and then on Palm Sunday, bring them back. And um, I'm going to um, let y'all, they're in the back, so I want one, there's only one per family. So you can get one for your family, and there's a calendar that talks about what Heifer International does. But so part of what we're going to do this Lent is we're going to make a commitment to help people who aren't as lucky as we are. Because we are really, really lucky. And I know you never go without food. <laughs> You're the evening boy I ever met. But there are people in this world, Hunter, that don't have food like we do. And so we're going to take up money, and we're going to take some money out of your piggy bank. <laughs> and we're going to put it in here so you can help boys and girls who don't have the kind of food you do. Okay? Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
<laughs> All right, so let's pray. And I didn't even prompt him. So let's pray. Precious God, we're grateful that we have all the things we need, that we don't have to go to bed hungry at night, that we don't starve or live on one little meal a day. And so we're going to do what we can, God, to help boys and girls around the world who aren't as fortunate as we are. Uh, help us be generous over the next four weeks so that we can help those boys and girls have food and not be hungry. Uh, we do this because you love us through Jesus and you teach us to love others as well. It's in his name that we pray. Amen. All right, you can go to the church now. Ms. Barton? No? Well, go with Ms. Laura. <laughs> For the rest of you who are overhearing that, there's one bank for a family in the back. Some of them are already made up. Some of them you'll have to make up like I did. And there's also a calendar. So pick up a calendar and a bank if your family would like to participate over the next four weeks. And then on Palm Sunday and in the, during the service, we will collect them and send the proceeds to Heifer International. Thank you. And where are we now? Ah! Oh. It's time for the ushers to come forward for our morning offering. <clears throat> Gracious and loving God, sometimes we forget how lucky we are, how blessed we are as a people in this country and the people in this congregation. And sometimes we take that for granted. Uh, but we know, oh God, that there are people out there not as fortunate as us. And we pray, oh God, that you will accept these gifts we bring this day and that you will use them and us to make your world a better place for all people and all children. 